not a day goes by that I don't get a DM or an email asking how much I charge for commissions, if I can draw somebody's mum, when my commissions are reopening. The answer is never. I have been through it. And I'm going to explain to you today why I no longer do commissions. Hey people, it's Temi if you're new here and it's Tuesday, which means it's time for another Temi's tirade. This happens where I just come and rant about different art topics. If you'd like to see the other videos in the series, I'll link them here or down below. For this video, I'm going to tell you exactly why I no longer do commissions. I am tired, I have been through it. <laughs> I don't think anyone could pay me enough <laughs> to do another commission. And disclaimer, I'm not saying commissions are bad. If commissions are working well for you, if you're making good money from commissions, if you enjoy it, if you love it, keep doing it. In fact, commissions for me was one of the first ways I started to make money from my art. I remember when I was at school and I was doing my GCSEs. So for the non-British people, that's when you're around year 10 and 11, which is from age 14 to 16. And with my art GCSEs, we had a 10 hour exam. I remember that this was back in the day when I could only do graphite pencil drawings and I was just doing my final piece, you know, just enjoying the 10 hours of drawing. And I had an invigilator who was just staring at me. Like she'll walk around a little bit and then she'd just stare at me or rather at my artwork. And at the time I used to think, sis, what's all this? <laughs> but at the end of the exam, I don't know if it's my teacher or if she came up to me and she was so impressed with the work I produced that she asked me if I could do a commission of her son. And I'm not going to lie to you, it made me feel good. Someone saw my artwork and wanted to pay me to do a piece for them. Like that felt amazing. So that was probably one of the first times I was approached for a commission. To be fair, I don't think I actually did the commission in the end. I don't know what happened to that. But since then, I have had a lot of commission experience. I've had good experiences, to be fair. I've been able to send my work overseas. I had quite a few customers in America and there are a few things that commissions taught me. First, it taught me to manage people. It taught me to interact with customers. It helped me in my communication skills, especially with the back and forth before you even get something agreed and just trying to understand customers and just giving them something that they'll be happy with, hopefully. <laughs> but commissions taught me a lot about making customers happy, making people feel truly happy with the work I've produced. And there was sometimes good news. When you get that picture of that person holding the artwork and you get the emails back of, thank you so much, like it was really nice. It also taught me how to work to creative deadlines. So the difference here is at the time I was in my engineering degree, and if you've got an engineering deadline, if you've got coursework, you know that you're doing da 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 and then you've got the work done. But with creative deadlines, I can spend 10 hours on a piece or I can spend 30 hours on a piece. When do you say a piece is done, you know? So because of that, with a creative deadline, it was like, you still had that deadline set in stone. The person wanted it for their anniversary or whenever, but, because of the fluidity of how long it could take, it was kind of difficult to manage. And the last thing it taught me was how to draw different people and even pets. <laughs> so normally, if you're familiar with my work, I like drawing women. I'm not going to lie to you. My favorite people to draw are black women. But with commissions, if someone sends me a picture of their dad, <laughs> that's what I need to draw. If someone sends me a picture of their dog, I drew that too. So I definitely feel like it allowed me to expand my remit of the normal things that I would draw. So yeah, those are some of the reasons why I did like commissions, but now I'm going to get into the tea, why you will not catch me doing another commission in this lifetime. <laughs> That's so dramatic, but guys, I'm really not a fan. And I mean, it's kind of clear that I'm alluding to some real commission horror stories. And if you want a video on a few of my commission horror stories, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to share them with you. But here are five reasons why I don't like doing commissions. Number one, I felt like I was undervaluing myself. So when I first started doing commissions, I would sometimes get questions from people around me, so like acquaintances, asking me to draw whoever. And at the time, I wasn't sure how to price my work. And I remember that I think I said to this guy, he wanted me to draw maybe a picture of him and someone else. And I said, okay, that would be 50 pounds. By the way, guys, if you're charging only 50 pounds for your commission, just stop now, stop. <laughs> of course, it depends on the size and whatever else. But, but anyway, I told this guy 50 pounds for this work. And I knew that it wouldn't be worth 50 pounds because even if I spent 10 hours on the work, that would be five pound an hour. That's below minimum wage. <laughs> but I was more likely to spend 15 to 20 hours on the piece. So really the maths wasn't maths in. And so yeah, I said to him, it would be 50 pounds. He said, Oh, why would anyone pay up to 50 pounds for a drawing? It's just a drawing. Okay, so the Temi I am today would not take that. What do you, what do you mean? But the Temi of back then, 
I reduced my prices. My confidence went to the ground. And so when I started to get interest from people online, I was giving them low prices. So people were of course happy to do this, but after doing a few commissions, I was like, this is not worth my time. I think I started at 35 pounds. And if I use an average of 10 hours, you know, three pound 50 an hour. <laughs> I might as well go and do a retail job or something because that is not worth my time. It's not worth your time if you're doing that now. So yeah, that's the first reason. I just felt like I undervalued myself. But of course I did increase my prices eventually, but I think that initial hit really got to me. And yeah, don't undervalue yourself if you're doing commissions. The second reason is because I felt underappreciated sometimes. So for the most part, people would receive their work and be so happy with it. But I had one customer who was just guys. <laughs> Firstly, she gave me the blurriest photo on this planet. I wish I could just show you the entire photo here, but I can't. So I'll show you part of it. So I'll show you the necklace and I'll show you what I ended up doing. If you guys have watched my realism video, you know that I've got aphantasia. I can't visualize or imagine things in my mind that I cannot see. So if you give me a blurry photo, I can do a carbon copy of that blurry photo, but you're probably, you're probably not going to like the drawing I do. So I'm always very adamant on getting a good quality reference photo. However, she said due to some circumstances, she wouldn't be able to give me a better photo. It was meant to be a surprise, you know, all of this. And so I thought, okay, let me make do with this. Anywho, I did what I could. And then all of a sudden she comes back. I forgot to mention, she was a friend of my sister's. So because of that, she was almost too familiar where, you know, I would try to be professional about it, but it's like, I know your sister, so what's all this? So yes, I did my best with the blurry photo she gave me. And you just have to take my word for it because I can't show you the drawing. But then she comes back and she's asking me to add more detail here, add more detail there. And I'm literally like, sis, the detail is missing. <laughs> There's no detail to be added. It's not that I saw the detail, I refused to add it. <laughs> detail did not exist. I don't know where you want me to find this detail. And I tried my best, of course, I was, you know, going back and forth and really trying to make her a happy customer. And then she said, I don't even know why I came to you. It's only because you're my friend's sister. And I was like, firstly, that's a lie. Because if I was your friend's sister that could only draw a stick man, guess what? you wouldn't come to me because I'm your friend's sister. Because it was so disheartening because she then lowered my skill, my talent, my everything to I only, I came to do you a favor. And to me, that's like, how ungrateful can you be? Firstly, you gave me the hardest picture to work with and I still tried my best. I did so many revisions on this photo. And then this was back when I was charging minuscule amounts. I was like, is this, re is this really worth my time? And then I try my best and I give you what I can. And then you come back and you're like, this is rubbish. I shouldn't have come to my friends to start to do. Yeah, so that's the second point, feeling underappreciated. The third thing for me is the time it takes. So commissions itself, doing the actual piece can be very time intensive, but all the admin behind it. So if you're even advertising your work, that will take time. If you're responding to emails, so the emails are back and forth, because it's not just one email and that's it. Even if you have a form on your website that people are completing, you still need to go back and forth, especially if you've got multiple reference pictures to choose from. You still need to go back and forth with the price, the date, just so many things. And then doing this for so many people, exhausting. And then you finally finish all of the admin stuff, and then you're going to sit down and do the piece. Commissions for me, too much time. Again, if I say the total time the piece took me was 10 hours and then for all the admin behind it, let's say two hours. So that's 12 hours for how much? And I think if you're doing commissions right now, you really need to make sure that it's worth your time and you need to look at the total amount from start to finish of your communication with this person to you posting the item to this person, the total amount of time that it will actually take you. And that's what you need to divide your amount by to make sure that it's worth your time per hour. And we're not even talking about cost of supplies or cost of posted material, but in total, the time it took for the commission process for me just meant that it was not worth it. So my fourth point is that it's an active income source. Source. And if you don't know about active or passive income sources, an active income source is something that you have to work at to get the money. So for example, I've got a nine to five. If I don't go to work, I'm not going to get money. <laughs> and commissions are the same in that respect. I mean, there's some things you can outsource. You can outsource your emails, for example, like I just mentioned about the time. But if you don't physically do the drawing, you're not going to get the money from that commission. 
And I was trying to turn my business into more of a passive income source, which is basically money that you can make while you sleep. And there's so many ways to make money as an artist. So let me know if you wanna see a video on how I make money as an artist. But with active income sources, you're kind of limited by the amount of time you've got to spend on that thing. So if I've got a full-time job or studies or anything else that I'm doing, I've only got say evenings and weekends and that can get filled very quickly, which also limits the amount of money you can get from your commissions. Increase your prices to something that feels worth it for your time. You might only then be able to do two commissions a month, three commissions a month. And if you just want some side hustle money and if you're able to give up that time, then I would say 100% go for it. But for me, it just got to the point that I didn't have that much free time and then all of my free time was being spent on commissions and not necessarily drawing what I wanted to draw, it's a no from me. And my fifth point is that it doesn't align with my goals. So if you've watched my vision board video, I was discussing about some of my art goals, which include the teaching side of art. So I really want to do an online course this year, preferably on the likes of Skillshare. And I really want to share my knowledge in the best way. So I've got tutorials on my channel. I really love receiving DMs from you guys saying that you've tried this technique or my video has helped you. In fact, I received the sweetest email recently and it's just amazing for me to see how much you guys can improve from the few videos I've got at the moment. And it just encourages me to teach more and to give more of what I can. And that's my ultimate goal with my art and my channel. I want to teach you guys. So commissions for me were a big hard no. If I have some spare time, will I take a commission in the future? I don't know, maybe if you pay me a million dollars. But if you're watching this and you are a potential customer, I just wanna apologize. As much as I'd love to draw your mum, your pet, your sister, it's just not something I have the capacity to be able to do. And I'm sure there are loads of artists out there who would love to do your commissions. So I apologize, but I just thought I'd make this video because I get questions about my commissions daily. And I just want to be able to lead everybody back to this video. as to why I'm not doing commissions right now and why I don't see myself doing them in the near future. So if you're an artist and you're actually interested in commissions, <laughs> I hope my video did not put you off, but I would love to share my experience with you. So let me know if you want tips about commissions, how to get your customers, how to price your work. I'll be more than happy to do that just leave a comment if you want to see that and even though I'm not doing them personally I'm happy to share all my knowledge and experience with you guys to help you once again it's the whole helping you <laughs> but anywho rant over too long didn't read commissions have been a pain in my backside so you will not find me doing them but if you love commissions if you love the extra money you can make from it you're doing great darling I'm proud of you keep at it but as for me and my household <laughs> no more commissions please so thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and I'll see you on my next one goodbye